Hello everyone, how are you guys? Uh, today we are going to discuss uh, the topic correlation. This is lecture number 11, statistic for all series. And this is Kaukab Manzoor, teacher, trainer, and life coach. Uh, you can see my WhatsApp number on the screen and YouTube link uh, where you can have more than 350 videos about different subjects uh, and also Facebook page where you can see my uh, training and coaching activities. <clears throat> so are you guys ready? I'm sure you will have pen, copy, notebook, etc. So you can note down the things that we are going to discuss in it. Okay, what we'll cover in this video, uh, we'll discuss what is correlation and what is the concept of correlation? Uh, what do we mean by scatter diagram? And then uh, what are positive correlation, negative correlation, or even no correlation? So what does it mean? And how can we know that uh, whether there is a positive correlation or negative correlation. And what is correlation coefficient? Usually denoted by a small r, right? So what is it? And obviously we'll solve a numerical question on it so that we can understand the concept in very well manner, right? So let's begin. What is correlation? Correlation simply means the relationship between two or more than two variables. So in the beginning, we'll start with the two variables and X and Y or any other two variables, age and weight or your salary and your, let's suppose motivation, anything, anything, right? So when we want to see, is there any relationship between two variables, price and demand? Like we know that when price increases, demand decreases. Or for example, when we take this tablet, and the blood sugar level comes down. So is there any relationship between these two variables, right? So anything that you are interested in it, so you can calculate it. So find the relationship between two quantitative variables without being able to infer a causal relation, causal relationship, sorry. So we just establish a relationship between two variables, right? And we are not going to uh, infer something out of it that if, since this relationship exists, so this will happen like this will happen, etc., right? Here, the main objective is just to know whether the relationship exists or not. Number two, what we try to figure out whether the relationship is positive or negative. So that's it what we are, uh, what uh, correlation is basically used. So here you can see a scatter diagram. Uh, what is scatter diagram? And on Y axis, we measure one variable. On X axis, we measure another variable. And then we try to plot it by putting a small cross or a small dot on it. And finally, we'll try to make the uh, see the direction if there any if there's, there is any direction in it right like so um, mostly x variable is uh, deep and independent variable and y are independent variable so for for a time being don't get confused in dependent and independent we will discuss in detail in regression uh, video right what is independent and dependent anyway here one variable we plot it on x axis and other is on y axis now here is an example, for example, we have a uh, height and weight, uh, for example, weight in kgs. There are 10 people, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. So, sorry, that is, oh, 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 what happens, what happens, what happens? Okay, okay, okay. just hold on, hold on. <clears throat> yes, so here we have uh, weight. And then the height of those uh, people, for example, a person who's having weight of 67 kg, his height is 120 centimeter or whatever. So uh, we are going to see, is there any relationship between weight and height? Like uh, when uh, high weight increases, height increases, or when height increases, weight increases, is there any relationship between weight and height? So we, what we do, as I told you, we measure uh, the um, height in, on y-axis and we measure the weight on x-axis. So you see first one is 67 and 120. So it will be 67 will somewhat here between 60 and 70 and this is 120. So we plot first point, first yellow dot you can see here. Then second, 69 and 125. So this is 69 that is even more closer to 70. This is the second and 129 is a little bit higher than 120, right? So it will be somewhat here and that is say, the second point. And so on, we plot all the plot, uh, uh, all the data, right? You see all the yellow dots you can see here. So you see the darts are starting from here, then some up, some down, some are here, and then finally the dot is here. Like what is the last value? That is 130 millimeter height and, uh, and then 85 kg, right? 
uh, and then three to one thirty. So one thirty is oops, sorry, eighty five is the weight, and one thirty is the height. So eighty five. So eighty five is somewhat here. You see, and one thirty. Uh, where is one thirty? Yes, here. This is one thirty, right? So that will come here in between. 85 so sorry so not not here 130 yeah this is 135 and yeah this is 135 this one and here it is 85 so this last dart is the last trick point so we plot all the data and we get these kind of uh, dots right now when we what we do when we draw a line uh, through it so you can see a direction that the overall the data is going upward so it's just a free line drawn just to see the trend in it. So you see the pattern of the data is indicative that, uh, of the type of relationship between your two variables. Now why we draw this line? Just to know whether the relationship is positive, negative, or even there exists no relationship. So whenever you see the lines, the, data, the, sorry, the, the, the dots that you see that are going upwards from left to right, as you can see, you can see the pattern, you see, if we start from here, so the lines, dots are going upward. So it means both the variables are increasing. That is called as positive relationship. If you see and you plot your data and it, it looks like this, so this means that there exists a positive relationship, you see. So if we draw a line, so it will look like something like this. Let me draw it so you can see it, right? <clears throat> like for example, we can make it. So you see, the line is going upward from left to right. So when you draw it from ruler, so it will be a straight line, right? <clears throat> so that means there is a positive relationship. Similarly, <clears throat> now you can see all the dots have, when you plot it, you see the reliability and the age of the car or any two variables. So you see there's a direction that is coming downwards. So now here it's very simple and easy to draw it. You see, if we start from here, so the line comes down, you see? So it means when the line or the trend shows that the line is coming from left to right and downwards, so that means there's a negative relationship. So that is how we uh, come to know that the, whether there exists a positive relationship or negative. Now you can clearly see the difference between the two patterns, right? You see, upward, you see upward, and here it's downward. So when there's a downward, this means negative relationship. Similarly, positive is also known as direct relationship and negative is also known as indirect relationship. So don't get confused when you see these things in the books, these terms in the books or in exam that uh, is this negative relationship or indirect. So it means both are the same, right? So indirect means indirect or negative relationship, direct and positive. So direct and positive are the same terms in terms of correlation, correlation and negative and indirect now here you see we cannot draw any line you see we can come from here to here or we can come from here to there like uh, there is no pattern at all so when you don't see any pattern that simply means there exists no relationship like we cannot draw a single line you see it's just jumbled the dots are jumbled so we have plot the data in uh, weights and uh, pulse rate for example of a person so we got this kind of data I means there is no relationship between weight and the pulse rate as per this data right i hope the concept is clear now no, next concept is correlation coefficient now so far we came to know that when you plot the data so we, by just plotting the data we can know whether the relationship of positive or negative now the next stage is that we also want to know that if for example we know that the data is uh, there is a positive relationship between the two variable so whether it's a strong relationship or a weak relationship, how can we know this? So for this purpose, we used correlation coefficient and simply it is denoted by a small r. So it is also known as Pearson correlation or product mean correlation. So both all are the names of it, right? So how we, how we came to know? So uh, what do you see when there's a, uh, the positive sign with it? So we'll say it's a positive relationship. When there's a negative sign, we'll, can, we'll say that it's a negative relationship. But whether it's a strong or weak relationship, how can we know that? The answer of this R will be between minus one and plus one. Now, for example, if your answer is between zero to 0 0.25, 
so that means this is a weak correlation like for example i i will tell you that how can we calculate this answer uh, a little later but just if your answer comes between like 0 0.1 0 0.2 0 0.25 0 0.11 so that means there is just a weak correlation between these two variable if the answer is between 0 0.25 to 7.75 point, uh, mean 0 0.5 0 0.6 0 0.7 0 0.4 so we say this is a moderate relationship or intermediate relationship right sometimes we use the word moderate and if the answer is 0 0.75 0 0.8 0 0.9 0 0.95 like this so that is very strong correlation so you see the more the answer gets near to 1 the, the correlation gets stronger and stronger. When it was near to 0.25, it was weaker. When it was get, uh, increasing from 0.25 to 0.6, 7, so this was getting moderate correlation and onward 0.75, that goes to strong correlation. And if the answer is one, that means perfect correlation, which usually does not exist. But anyway, even if answer is zero, so means there is no relationship. Got it? Now, how to calculate this answer? There's a formula. Uh, don't, don't get scared. It's very easy. I'll explain you one by one. Uh, don't get uh, confused or scared by just by looking at the size of the formula. It's very easy to calculate it. So just uh, note it down with yourself. Uh, summation x, y minus summation x into summation y divided by n and then summation x and then summation x whole square divided by n summation y square minus summation y whole square divided by n. Right Now, don't worry, I'll explain you each and everything. Just note it down. Okay, now here's a question and we are going to solve the question and now you'll see that it is so easy to calculate correlation. For example, we have age and weight. These are the age of six people. Uh, first person or first child age is seven years, six, eight, five, six, nine. And their weights are also recorded here. Like for example, the first child age is seven years and there it's her or his weight is 12 kg, right? Similarly, second child age is six years and his weight is eight kg and so on. Now, what we need to do, we need three more columns. This is the first column that we have age. The second is uh, weight in kgs. Now, if you remember, you see what we need, summation x, y means we need a column where we can get the x into y and it's sum. Then we need x square and y square. Now look at here. x, y means 7 into 12. That makes 84. You can do it in calculator or through Excel or anything. 6 8s are 48. 8 12s are uh, 96. Similarly, we multiply these. And when we sum up all these values, 84, 48, 96, we get 461. Right? The next column is we need x square. X square means this is X and square of X. Seven square, 49. Six square means six, six are 36. Eight, eights are 64. Five, fives are 25 and so on. And we sum all these values, 49, 36 and all these, we get 291. Got it? Then we need Y square. This is Y. 12. 12 square, 144. Eight square, 64. 12 square, 144 and so on. And we sum up all these values and we get 700. 42. Now we have the sum of x, sum of y, sum of xy, sum of x square. This is not x2, right? x square and sum of y square. We just need to put these values into the formula. So note it down with yourself and now put it in the formula. See, this was summation xy, 461. So this is summation xy, 461, right? This is summation x, 41. And then summation y 66 divided by n. What is n? n is a number of children, right? Number of observations. So there were six children. So we put six here, right? Now 291. What is it? Summation x square. And then summation x whole square. This is summation x whole square. 41 whole square divided by number of observation n. Then summation y square. You see 742. And summation y whole square, this is summation y, we have already calculated its whole square and then 6. Now it's very simple, just multiply 41 into 66, you will get some value, divide it by 6, then you'll get some answer, right? Subtract it from 461, so you will get one value here, right? Similarly, 41 square, calculate that 41 square to calculator and divide it by 6. 
so you will get one value here then minus it from 291 so the entire bracket you will get one value similarly 66 square and then take that square divide it by 6 and then subtract that answer from 742 so now you have one value here you have one value here multiply the both and whatever you get take the square root of it right so you'll get one and then divide it from the value of above so you'll get 0.75 now you can see it is above 0.75 this means it is a strong positive correlation or we can also say strong direct correlation remember i told you positive also means direct correlation if the answer was minus here right so then it would have been strong negative correlation or strong indirect correlation so minus sign means what negative correlation and positive sign means positive correlation so positive means when x increases y also increases like normally we see when we, so we see that when height of a person increases his weight also increases usually it happens right so this is what we say for example we say when we take this medicine and the um, red blood cells will start increasing right so means increase in the medicine will increase the uh, red blood cells so this means there's a positive relation both variables are increasing or both variables are decreasing at the same time this means positive relationship when one variable increase another decreases then means negative relation in this case if the answer is minus simply means negative correlation if answer is plus positive correlation and if we see point it is more than 0.75 so it's a strong correlation if the answer was for example 0.25 or 0.15 so we would have said there is a weak positive correlation right so similarly you can solve this second question here we have x and y some other data x square y square we have calculated x y calculated put it into the formula you see we have done it for you here is a minus answer which is minus 0.94 so 94 shows strong correlation but minus shows indirect or negative strong correlation so you do it by yourself and if there is any confusion problem so you can ask in the comment box right i hope the concept is clear now so you can do it by yourself thank you very much stay blessed and see you in the next class inshallah